the quarry workers were rendered as soft targets for the militants in the county with the government warning quarry owners to adhere to government directives in order to save lives. It's a Dean Haji report from Mandera. Akuna, timbo, sitaendelea, na hata ni kutoka jana. These are the words and orders by the government to close down quarries in Mandera County. This comes after fears emerged on a looming attack by Al-Shabaab militants. The closure of quarries in Mandera is a measure after a series of security reports were laid out to prevent loss of lives to the militants in the region. Threat ya Al-Shabaabu ni kubwa ambao ina lenga watu ambao mnajua wengi wao ni watu wa kutoka Nairobi na same zingine. Dozens of non-locals were killed at quarry mines and roads leading to Mandera County in the past years. But the quarries have resumed operations with hundreds of workers operating within the site. The government says the site might be exposing the miners. When at a foot a soft target. Na soft target moja ni kama hao watu ambao wanaka kwa timbo kukata mawe. Laibon Odhiambo is one of the quarry miners working in this site and he has been working here for a long time and says the burden of feeding his children surpasses the danger he is exposed to. His colleagues also have a similar complaint and want this mine to continue operating. Pasipo mikono yangu, hawa watu wawezi kula. Yo muda yote imeenda ya korona. Sija kutana na mtu moja, kaniambia mimi ni mfanya kazi wa serikali na kupea hii miatano uende ununulia watoto chakula. These mines will remain to be closed until the security of miners will be assured. Despite government efforts to assure her citizens against external threats, hundreds of quarry workers in different sites across Mandera County will live to settle with the reality of searching for an alternative source of income during such tough times. Esedin Haji, TV47, Mandera County.